हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लॉक एंड आई लॉक फंक्शन इन इन पांडास डेटा फ्रेम ओके सो दिस लॉक एंड आई लॉक मेथड्स आर यूज्ड टू स्लाइस एंड डाइस द डेटा फ्रेम डेटा फॉर एग्जांपल इन इन एसक्यूएल यू हैव वेयर क्लॉज राइट यू पुट सम फिल्टर्स और यू वांट सम पर्टिकुलर रोस और इफ यू वांट सम पर्टिकुलर कॉलम्स राइट इन इन सिमिलर वे in python pandas we use lock and i lock functions okay i have seen lot of people are very confused when to use i lock when to use lock what is the difference so in this video i will clear it everything with small examples we will play with both the functions and at end of the video it will be absolutely clear so i have imported pandas as pd and i have created a small data frame with four rows we will we will play with these four rows okay so let's start so let's 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 talk about i lock first okay and then we will move on to the lock one so i lock says index location so if you want to slice and dice you want to filter data based on the index value of the data frame that time we use i lock function so how it works in i lock function you have to say so our data frame is df right df dot i lock okay and then in square brackets you have to say which rows you want comma which columns you want right so df dot i lock in square brackets first rows comma then column okay if i don't give column or i then it means that i want all the columns right so i will just give rows for now so i'm saying give me the index 0 right so index 0 of row is this right 0 so it will give me first row i'm not i'm not put anything after comma which means i want all the columns So I'll just say zero, and it will give me the first row, Ankit mail and Ankit at the gmail dot com. So this is how you can get a particular row index. If I give two, it will give me the second row, Priya, right? Priya female. If I give something more than the index out of range, I lock four, so it will give me error that this index is not present, right? Out of bound. So let me go back and say two, right? now now you you will say that i want i want from 0 to 2 i want first three rows so you can give the range as well so you will say 0 colon 2 so this is called slicing so i i want from 0 to 2 or you can say from 1 to 3 okay so it will give you all the days from 1 to index 3 but in pandas it always skips the last index so if when you give a range one colon three it will give you first row and second row it won't give you the third row right so if i run this see it is giving me the first row the index one and index two it won't give you index three right so in that way you can you can uh, slice the data okay now you will say i want first and third row right so how i will do i want first and third row so in that you can even pass the list of indexes so you will say in the in, in the list 1 comma 3 right so it will give you first index row and third index row right so so you can pass a range using colon or you can pass the specific date indexes as well in the list okay so if i run this it is giving me see first and third right so there are three three things we saw either we give particular index like 0 it will give me 0 row i can give a range 1 colon 3 so it will give me first and second and if you want particular indexes in the list you can pass right now second thing is i want a specific column so you will say comma right i want only the second column right so in python index always starts from 0 so this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 right so if i give 2 it will just give me email ids of these two indices right if i give See for one and three, it is giving me just email IDs Rahul and Nita, right? So because it is a I lock function, we have to pass index. I cannot pass these labels. In I lock function, we always have to pass indexes, right? Here again, whatever we have done here can be applied here. So I will I will say I want all the rows from index one to three. So it is one and two. Index one and two it will give because zero one two. So it will give me gender and email ID. it is giving me gender and email id so now i am slicing rows as well as columns right this is how you can slice and dice data using i lock function now let's move on to the 
log function. What is the difference between log and I log? We will understand now. Okay. So in log, you can pass the labels. It is based on labels if you want to slice and dice the data. Here it was based on indexes, right? Now let's see how we will use. So I will say df dot log, right? Same same syntax. Here again, I have to pass rows and columns, right? So one more thing, one more thing. If you want some particular columns here, right? And but you want all the rows, right? So you can pass colon here, right? So it will understand that you want all the rows and only these three columns, these two columns, column index one and two. So it is giving me giving you all the rows, right? All the rows and these columns. Okay, I hope this is clear. Let's move on to log. In log, now I have to pass the label. So these all are considered as label. Let's look at the DF again. So this is my DF, right? So I will say, give me, give me the label one, right? Now here you will say index also we gave one, but I will show you even if I give some some other indexes that works, right? I'll show you. But for now, I I'm saying give me the label value one for the row, right? And if I run this, it works, right? But but let me do one thing now. What I will do, I will set this email ID, this email ID as an index for this data frame. So instead of this default indexes, I will set email ID as my index. So I will say df dot set underscore index and let's pass, let me pass name. Uh, I am taking just name. So I'm passing name as the index of my data frame, right? So if you see, if you see, the name is an index now. We don't have 0, 1, 2, right? The default index is not there now. That's 0, 1, 2. Now we have the name as the indexes, right? And using, the, using these indexes, I can fetch the rows using log function, right? So let's do it. So first of all, when I say this, it doesn't do anything in the DF. So if I check back DF, it is like this only. So I have to say in place equal to 2. In place equal to true. Once I pass this, and I look at the df again, it is my index now, right? So name is my index. Now let's see. So I will say df dot log, right? And I will pass this index, index value. I, I am saying, give me the row where index is uncut, right? I said in log function, you have to pass label for not indexes. So I want uncut. And for now, let's say all the columns I want. So it will give me all the columns for Ankit, right? Now I will say I want particular columns. So now because log is labeled base, I can just pass the name of the column. So now we, we are remaining with two columns only because name is the index. So I will say I need email. Okay. So if I run this, you see for Ankit, it is giving me email, right? If I just pass colon, it will give me all the rows because I'm passing colon, right? And all the emails for all of them, right? And it will always give index in the output, right? Index is always there in the output. Whenever you, you do anything with data frame, you will always see indexes in the output, right? So in that way, we are able to filter data. We are able to select the data based on the label values of rows and columns, right? This is the index label and this is the column label, right? Now here also we can do slicing. For example, I can say, Give me, give me all the rows from, from Rahul, or let's say Ankit to Priya, right? It will give you all the rows starting from Ankit till Priya, right? So if I run this, see Ankit, Rahul, Priya it is giving. The last one Neeta I didn't give, right? So we can do slicing here as well. Now if you want to have more columns, let's say you want to have two columns. So you can even pass email and I want gender right i will say gender right so if i run this uh there is some error okay one square bracket is missing so it is giving me gender and email both right again you can pass a list of indexes as well instead of slicing you can say i want ankit and piriya right ankit colon uh, comma piriya so it will give you Ankit Piriya and for Ankit Piriya, it will give you only email and gender columns, right? Again, some error, uh, single quote is missing. Okay. Okay. So with the log function, you can pass 
you can pass the label values right now the last and most important thing the bonus thing for this video we can even even pass the filter conditions right so what i will do i will create a filter condition now i will say let's say my filter condition is fc and i am saying uh, df gender equal to male so what i want i want only the rows where gender is male now till now i was filtering on based on indexes right exact values right now i want to filter based on based on some filter condition based on some logic right so i what i want i want from my data frame all the columns where gender equal to male all the rows where gender equal to male right if you look at this fc now fc is a is a is a series of boolean values so wherever so if we look at df wherever gender equal to male right it is returning true for second index it is returning true and wherever it is female it is returning false right so this is my filter condition so in my log function or even in my i log function i can pass this filter condition so i will say fc and give me all the all the columns for the for the time being so i am just passing this filter condition and wherever it is true for whichever index this is true it will give me only those rows so if i run this now you see it is giving me first two rows only right again if i want particular columns i can pass the column name so for example if i just need email i will just pass email because second after comma whatever you give is for column so it will give you columns email right only for those two right and this works for i log as well so you can even do i log right but this will give you error because i log cannot take the email name right it cannot take the label right so if i run this it will give you error so i have to pass a index i'll say index 1 right so it is having again giving me some error uh okay it is saying it cannot take the filter condition okay okay so lock only works actually for this this is not giving anything again i have to pass gender okay okay so this is how it works for i lock function i think we cannot give filter condition yeah we cannot give filter condition we we have to give some index value or slicing or something but for lock function we can give the filter condition and it works okay perfect i hope you like the video uh, please hit the like button and do let me know what all other topics you want in python thanks for watching have a great day